the SpectraView project began almost 10 years ago uh, when we identified a need with our own customers to come up with a way of implementing both process control and color management directly in the printer. And we began by looking for off-the-shelf solutions. We didn't find anything that worked. So about five years ago, we started a project to actually develop our own spectrophotometer technology. So this is the original device that we introduced in April 2010. This is the SpectraView VM10. And this is the device that actually connects to our print head. Once we introduced this, we had customers ask us, because this is removed from the printer during printing, they said, is there a way that I can use this outside of the printer? So we developed a back end, which you can connect to the front, and you can then turn this into a handheld device that you can use for doing spot color checks on media that's or on materials that's already been printed. So if you want to double check something that's come off the printer, if you want to double check a customer's logo, you can do that with the same device that you used on the printer to actually build the color profile to all of your process control. So shortly after introducing the SpectraView, we were contacted by a company in New Zealand that wanted to look at kiwi fruit and actually measure the taste grade and ripeness of kiwi fruit non-destructively. But in order to do that, they needed to operate in the near infrared spectrum. And our SpectraView device was designed to work in the visible spectrum because we're looking at color. One of the attributes of the TSL-1401 is that it operates in both the visible and the near infrared. So we were actually able, with just some minor modifications to our optics, but leaving all of the electronics the same, adapt the technology to work in the near infrared spectrum, and we designed this device, which can actually be used to measure fruit ripeness. And we now have these units in test, and just over the past few months, the group in New Zealand has actually tested this with 17,000 kiwi fruit to build models of how this technology can be used in the field to grade kiwi. So after we developed the technology for this group in New Zealand, we needed some type of housing to put it in so that they can actually use it in the field. So we designed this piece, which is called the VM20. And we then took this concept and we took it back to the visible spectrum. And we designed a device that could be used for industrial color management and quality control applications. So we added, this is the same SpectraView technology here, but we added a battery pack, we added a digital display, a readout, and the ability to store samples. So now somebody can actually take this device and use it to measure the color of plastics, uh, cloth, paint, various materials in any type of uh, manufacturing or industrial environment. So one of the key advantages of the TSL-1401 is it gives us the ability to repurpose our design and our optics to a variety of applications. The one that is probably the most far afield of what we initially started with was this device. This is a prototype of a device for doing chemical analysis, for looking at liquids. And this was something we were approached upon by a university back east to say, could you take your technology and adapt it to look at liquids rather than looking at light reflected off of a solid surface? Because of the versatility of our design, leveraging the 1401, we were able to adapt our device with minimal modification to actually turn it into a cuvette reader. So you can put liquid in the cuvette, you can put it in the sample, close the lid, and do spectral analysis of the sample. And we were able to turn this device in six weeks. So the TSL-1401 CS from Taos gave us the design flexibility that we needed to repurpose our technology to cover applications ranging from color management and process control inside our printers to applications of looking at kiwi fruits, of looking at doing chemical analysis, looking at liquid samples, this whole variety of applications. What was really core to this was the design versatility that we had by using the 1401.